Hi everybody, this is a piece I'm doing in the tutorial today. It's a personal piece in my kitchen. Um, so I am start, this is the before, and I'm going to start by cleaning it. Well, first actually I'm going to, sorry, first I'm going to sand it with the sanding block. Um, because it's an old piece and it's, it's metal, it's not wood. So, um... I'm going to sand these edges a little bit more so that they are a little more distressed and I want to see the metal through what I do on the top coat. So that's what I'm going to start by doing and then I'm going to clean it with vinegar and water in this bucket here. I'm going to use a scrubby, make sure it's nice and clean before I get started. And um, so here I go. Okay, so I've cleaned it and I've distressed my edges and I've rinsed it really well. You need to rinse too to make sure there's no leftover residues, um, those rust spots that are running down, I sanded those pretty well too to make sure that, that you know, there's nothing going to come through. So um, I've sanded all the corners because I wanted that metal to show through. I want the white to show through too, but I want the metal to show through as well. So I'm going to be using Van Gogh Chalk Paint Collection. Uh, I'm using a color called Patina, and it's a really nice um, kind of a neutral blue. Um, I'm going to be using this brush here. It's a Van Gogh, Studio Van Gogh brush. Uh, it has natural fibers and they're really nice actually. And this help, this um, brush helps apply the product really well. It's got the rounded edges so you don't have the trail lines as much. Um, I really like this paint line. It mixes really well with each other and it has a really wide selection of colors to choose from everything from these nice neutral colors you know there's a couple of whites and browns and tans stuff like that but there's also um, some really vibrant colors and you can mix these colors really well so I'm gonna get started um, and I will show you guys when I get to the next step okay so I've painted it um, and I'm letting it dry and then I'm going to start distressing it back using a just water and a wet um, t-shirt. I like t-shirts but uh, you can use really really fine grit like 600 grit sandpaper or um, a rag like a washcloth. I prefer t-shirts but um, they just need to be really wet. So this is what it looks like now, and I'm going to wet sand all of it too, so that it's um, nice and smooth. I just want to add real quick that I chose not to take the handles off. That was a personal choice. I like the way painted handles and hinges look. But you, if you wanted uh, to have those still silver or, you know, not painted, um, obviously you would take them off before you painted there's usually screws in, uh, on the insides of the drawers and doors. Okay, so I've distressed it back where I wanted the, um, the under colors to show through. So I did this once again using a just a wet t-shirt. Um, I'm really liking it. Normally at this point I would do probably a glaze on top of this. Um, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to or not. We'll see. Okay, so I've decided to glaze it. Um, this is what it looks like. I mixed up a glaze um, that I thought went with this top. And I really like it now. So my next step is to seal it. So let me get started with that. So I'm going to be using to seal it Van Gogh Chalk Paint Collection Tabletop Finish. And it's... Um, Normally I use a wax, but this is in the kitchen. This is clear. Um, and this is the brush I'm going to be using. It's a synthetic brush. <laughs> Don't mind the rust at the top. I left a spatula on it while it was drying on accident, so it got a little rust stained, but it's not going to come off on anything. Um, this brush is, works really well with this product. It helps lay it down nice um, and even and bubble-free. Um, I really like this. I painted, we painted some shelves with it and um, the same day we put cans of paint on those shelves and they haven't chipped. 
So this stuff cures incredibly fast and incredibly hard. Um, it's great for stuff that's going to be high use, kitchens, bathrooms, stuff like that. Tabletops, obviously. It's tabletop finish. Um, so that's what I'm going to seal this with. And I'm going to get started. Okay, so this is the final product. It's all done. I have two coats of the tabletop finish on it. Um, and it's back in place. It's ready to be used. Um, I'd say I can scrub on it about a week and a half. So this is it. Thanks for watching this brief tutorial on Van Gogh chalk paint collection. Um, if you have any other questions, please visit us at DawnLens.com or on our Facebook page, Dawn Lens Surface Designs. Hope to see you guys there.